Hi guys, I'm Nagata-chan, and welcome to my reaction for Tower of God, chapter 43, and we'll see how much. Yeah, <laughs> I I'm not really sure how much I will be able to do. But previously things were interesting. We got to know Horyang's past, which is very crazy, right? The ex experiments, oh my goodness. I do really love his actual name, or at least name the lady gave him. It's so pretty. Even like his best friend brother. I mean, I call them brothers because they kind of were growing up together, right? Experienced things together. So they are like brothers. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, and... Like, he wants to go, I guess, after him. Because personal matters. But he also wants to know what the heck is inside Viola. Because of that short thing which happened, right? Which now I'm kinda interested also. Yeah, well I should probably just continue. To see where this is going. Yeah, so they're both ready. At least or young or bear is ready to fight him, I guess, to find out what the heck. Oh bam. Again, I cannot see his eyes. Why are you doing that, Seal? Uh, why are you doing that? <laughs> wow, but a thing inside of him. Wow, I mean, now it makes sense. Whatever the heck that creature was, they call it demon, right? Right hand of demon, but like, whatever. Uh, it, it's unsettling for sure. Take it out, Viola. I mean, can he? Can he do something with it? Or he just doesn't know what it is? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. Maybe he can. But he's very, very interested. I need to know if you are an ignition weapon like me. And if so, how it happened. I get it that he is interested because... Of what happened to him, right? Even if I have to fight against you. Like, maybe just ask him, you know? Like, friendly chat. <laughs> a little friendly chat. But I guess it makes him a little uneasy too. Goddamn, bear. Chill, buddy. I can't help you with this. And I don't have a reason to fight against you. I mean, that is true. Bam doesn't need to fight him. Right? Like, why Why should we fight? We don't know what the heck it is inside of him. What, what, uh, what does that mean? Maybe he doesn't even know. I don't know. Maybe he can use it when he wants. I don't know. Yeah, I thought so that this this uh, might kind of make Bear be really um hasty. If you won't show me, I'll make you do so. I don't know if we want that Bear or Young, whatever I should call you. Ilmar, very nice name. God dang it. I mean, look at it, that's so crazy. Awaken it. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Come on, bear. Come on. This is a little pointless. You can't just force people. <laughs> Come on. So far, Bam doing do good. Oh. 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 Yeah, so far doing good. Escaping that thing. If you are an ignition weapon like me, and if, if UG is related to that experiment... Mm, true. I was thinking also, like, maybe if UG is behind that, which... Probably would not make him very happy, right? Like, I'm sure he doesn't want anyone continuing with those experiments, because they are extremely horrible. Yeah, but maybe you just talk with him. <laughs> You don't need to go into fight. But I get it, like, he, there is probably, like, so many things on his mind right now. I get it. 
Oh my god, my mouse! Continuously not listening to me! Is it possessed or whatever the heck? Need to buy a new one. Okay, bam coming in though. I have to... I have the right to know the truth. I get it, there is like weight of so many, 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 many people or children dying. Right? I guess he feels like he needs to do something so they would not die in a way. That like if he is the only one or there is like very few people which are ignition weapons, they should do something against that. Because it's so horrible. But those got sacrificed during the experiment, yeah. Exactly. Oh bear buddy. Oh okay. Bam is surprised. He did not expect this or whatever he is doing. Or maybe what he said. Why is Bam so shocked? What it what 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 is he shocked about? Oh kaboom. Yeah, that's a big kaboom. Not gonna lie. That's some attack, Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to hurt him though. Like seriously hurt him. <laughs> Otherwise this could this could have been problem a little, yeah indeed. Bam, stop not showing your eyes, please stop. <laughs> Tell me. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Stop this. Maddox said we were the first. I've never heard of another survivor except us. Hmm. And how long ago it was? Like, we don't know how, how long it took Bear to climb to the, like, level the where, where he met bam right and the others so what's that thing you have yeah like are they still continuing with the experiments or mr experimental crazy psychopath uh because he wasn't able to do something with bear and Cassano because they disappeared into the climbing part of the tower he got kind of fucked over <laughs> And someone, oh, I mean, still, if it would be so interesting for them, they would probably continue with experiments. But it depends how much money you power in it, and like if the results are good enough for you to like be still continuing with that. Did FUG have something to do with the experiment? Why did they make living ignition weapons? Don't ask me! Maybe they are trying to use it for something, someone... I don't know. Answer me, Juvial Grace. Aww. I just love Bam's eyes. They're so beautiful. <laughs> That's why I don't like it when he's hiding them. Like, come on. But Bam is listening. We all know that Bam is always listening. The devil's right arm. Still continuing. Okay. Seven years ago when I first joined FUG. So it was seven years ago. Thank you for year confirmation. Time confirmation. <laughs> wow, it's been seven years. That's so crazy. A man said, I'll teach you how to become a god. Oh. Not just something. But a god. Ooh wee. Okay. God, you say? Yes, God. The power to make all wishes come true, change the world, or throw it all aside and walk your own path. Okay. Oh, like bam here. Hey. <laughs> I can get over the fact how much he grown because he still has like some part of his old self but here he looks so innocent oh I miss the old bam my pure little 
cute Bambi baby. It doesn't look like that much now. Yeah. I can only give you the smallest part of it now. But this power will help you choose your destiny. Okay, what, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Um, excuse me? What, what, what? Jinsung? What, what is this about? Okay, so he met this whatever shit. Whatever it is. As soon as I lied eyes on that red light, I was struck with great pain and fainted. And when I woke up, I felt it inside of me. I asked about it later, but it wouldn't answer me. Okay, so it's more of like... It went inside of him. There wasn't any kind of experiment. Interesting. What it was? I guess they were sure it would go inside of Bam and that Bam would survive it, whatever it was. I mean, maybe it's a similar creature to what Haryang has inside of him, but the uh, way it was put inside of these people is different, I guess. You... All I know is that if UG secretly hid it on the floor of the test and made a huge tank to take care of it. Oh. Okay, and the water inside it is very special. Very, very interesting. What the heck is going on? FUG, what is this? It makes a shin, uh, shinu that goes inside it huge. Or enhances one's power to control Shinsu, for example. Abnormal things happen in there. What's this power? Uh, uh, excuse me, what is it? What is going on? <laughs> what kind of magical power source do they have? What the heck? So it might be some kind of special Shinsu something creature which is able to do something with a Shinsu? When I heard your story, I felt that our situations were er eerily similar. But this is all I know. I don't know how to wake this up. Or whether this is related to the experiment or not. Yeah, like they have a creature inside of them. That's why he was just sitting there listening. Because there are similarities. But still, it's a little bit different. Okay, at least I guess the creatures are similar. And they need a host, maybe? Or they are able to take host. Huh. Sorry, Mr. Horyang, but I didn't want this power, this destiny. It's not what I wanted, just like you. Yeah, sadly, he kind of was pushed into it. Yeah. Well, maybe Bam is, but like, a little bit different case. Hmm. Well, I guess we will find out in the future, probably. What I really wanted was already there. Aw, his friends. He just wants to climb the tower to go to them again. And he wants them to be safe. Aw. Well, I hope you understand, Horiang. <laughs> you just ask him. You don't need to freaking fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Bam, for being the more level-headed one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I already knew the truth. Really. Even if you did have something to do with that experiment, you're not the type of person who would sacrifice others for power. I, I guess he kind of knew that Bam is not like the kind of person who would willingly sacrifice his people, but he wanted to know more about like a FUG situation probably and what is going on exactly. 
but that is true. I just wanted to make sure before I left. Now it's okay. Mr. Harrell? Hmm, he, he just wanted to be sure, yeah. But, like, I don't want you to leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I get it. It's personal. But, like, come on, bear. Come on. Forget about what happened today, Viola. I don't care anymore about whether you are related to the experiment or not. You and I are both victims. That is true. They did not ask for that. <laughs> Sadly. I hope you can be happy and find what's precious to you, Viola. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's going to meet his friend. The circumstance, though. We'll see what it will lead to. Oh, uh, Bear is so nice. I like him so much. No, I don't want you to leave. Tell my words to our teammates. Ariang, are you really leaving like this? Yeah, people would be sad. Come on. Can you at least say goodbye to them? <laughs> but I'm sure he knows that if that would be happening, he probably would not be able to leave them. They would not let him. <laughs> I got the location. I can go by myself. I won't be able to return if I make it there. I don't want to get you in trouble because of my past. Come on, it's not like this. We can help you. It's dangerous. That picture might be a trap. That is true. It might be a trap. That's another reason I'm not taking you. Oh, he's like, this is my personal matter. And I don't want to cause you troubles. If I got into trouble, if it is a trap, it will be me taking responsibility for that. Aww. But I'm glad that Bam is like, thank you, Bam. <laughs> thank you, Bam. Yeah, Bam cares for them, sadly enough. <laughs> he got attached. Because he's too nice. You're my family. Aww. I mean, they were very nice to him. He had fun with all of them, right? They have strong bonds. The teammates that I met since entering the tower weren't much different from the researchers at the workshop. They just needed my power. They always thought I was a monster and stayed away from me. Yeah, that's exactly that. But you were different. They cared for him like... They were treating him like a normal person, not like some crazy, powerful shit to be afraid of, but just use it, right? Every time I saw you guys in the morning, I felt like I did when... I felt like I did when I saw my first snow. I knew I would have to leave one day, but I might... But I made excuses to delay my departure. No, that's a very good excuse! You were feeling good with them. So why not being with them? Especially if you were treated like you were treated in your past. Come on, stop this. But winter is over now. No, no, I do not accept that. Come on, I get it. But I don't want it to happen. Bam. Goodbye, Viola. Ah, oh, this is so hard. Yeah, he felt so much like with family, at least. I guess that's what he imagined family might be like because he kinda never had one. And he just going away. Oh no, how will the others act? What did missing do? Ah! Come on. Ah I don't know how to feel about it. I mean I absolutely get it. I absolutely get it why he wants to go there. It's like his brother. He probably searched for him or tried to know more about him, where he could be, right? Ah, because they got separated and they cared about each other very much. So it's reasonable that he would try to find him, go after him if there is opportunity. But I don't want him to leave Bam and the others. Wait for me. God damn it. Cassano. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. 
Okay, so what is this? What is happening? Meanwhile. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Hello there, guys. Hello there, guys. Oh my god, those clothes. <laughs> Woohoo! What the heck is this? Okay, what? Where are you going? Is this where he's hiding? Oh yeah, actually, yeah. Mmm. He was trying to... Mm, yeah, exactly. Good thing it. He was also going after him. And I mean, this party looks pretty powerful. Not gonna lie. This dude looks so creepy. <laughs> like that. Like, they look so shady like this. <laughs> They look so goddamn shady. <laughs> like, could you at least not, like, get this as shady as possible clothing? Come on, guys. This screams sus as heck. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? If I would see three people like this, I would be like, mm, I don't want to have anything to do with them. That's sus. Please, go away, people. But I like the white clothes. With the uh, black rims, outliners, nice, nice. And look, <laughs> I mean the desert, the white and black. It looks like he is someone from Ueka Mundo from Bleach. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, this is going to be a problem. Maybe they would meet sooner than we expected. The devil's right arm is mine. Don't touch him, Ran. Shut up. Just shoot your spear, you spear bearer. Guys, cool down. Then let's see who catches him first. And see who's really number one. Stop bothering me. Get away. <laughs> They're bickering in the background. And Kun is like, it's time. To hunt the devil. Yeah, indeed, seems like it is. Oh my god, his team is so kind of like funnily functional or dysfunctional because they're always bickering. <laughs> but I like it. I mean, the circumstances, they go together, right? But I like it. It's, it's a different dynamic. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Well, someone is waiting here. For what though, huh? For what though? The yeah, end. This was a quick chapter. This was a very quick chapter. Okay, so Horyang just wanted to be sure. Yeah, and I really would like him to destroy the experiments or whoever was doing the experiments like it need to cease please but i don't know if we will ever get there these experiments are horrible and bam like situation is similar but a little different i don't know what the heck a fuji had what it was but apparently this weird shit went inside of him yeah Hmm. Hmm. Ah, so he kinda left him go. And meanwhile, while Horyang is heading towards his brother friend, Kasano, uh, Kun and his party of three the most shadiest people. <laughs> are heading there too but seems like mr devil arm is awaiting well this is going to get interesting this is going to get interesting for sure god damn it ah god damn it okay so i'm going to read the black post for this now I feel like the team assembly is almost done, and the real story of the regulars will begin. Haha. Uh -huh. 
about Bam Sparov at the end of season 1. It seems that many readers thought it was a natural result of Bam's talent and ingenuity, so they didn't find it suspicious. It seems you underestimated me. If Horyang takes out the devil, he's incredibly strong. Among the regulars, there are not many who can beat Horyang in that state in terms of raw power. Of course, there are a few problems too. Of course. When I just began season 2, I had to start all over so it was very tough. And I know many readers also felt very uncomfortable. But now the story is becoming focused and more than anything. The characters have found their places. So I think I'll be able to truly progress the story of the regulars. I hope the hardship I underwent was worth it. Please be careful with the cold going around. See you next week. I never felt anything uncomfortable with what? With what? That the uh, like story is changing focus? Dependable? <laughs> but okay, okay. I'm just waiting where this is going. Yeah. He's doing good. He's doing very good. So I have no problems with this. So chapter 44. Um... Oh, this is going to be hard. Bam just let him go, which, like, I partially understand. He was very willing. It's his personal matter. It's a brother friend he was since childhood, and they exper experienced this horrible thing together, so they have a very strong bond, right? And also, his Horyang is very worried that this might cause problems for his team. He feels like he's at home with them. But, like, others would not like it. I don't know how they are going to... Uh, no! I don't know how they are going to react. Oh, you're back, Viola. Well, we need to talk. Why are you alone? Didn't you go out with Horyang? He said he was going to be late. Did he? That's odd. Bam, that's the worst light you could possibly tell. <laughs> uh, he was going to be late like... <laughs> like few years, centuries, maybe never. <gasps> he doesn't usually go out. Suspicious. Bam, you're such a bad liar. <laughs> Why are you not saying the truth? <laughs> like, what if he would never came back? Like, come on, Bam. Oh, Viola, you are back. Where's Teddy Bear? I don't know. He said he'd come back later. Bim? Bam? Bam, I know you are trying, but... I don't think this would work for long. <laughs> he must be excited to meet his old friend. What should I wear tomorrow? Why do you care about that? He's not your friend. That is Bear. Teddy Bear's friend is my friend too, isn't he? No. Steppy, steppy, step. Shut up. Go to the bed now. We have to wake up early tomorrow. All right. Okay. So, what now? That doesn't sound like plausible lie to me. <laughs> Wouldn't someone be sus of what Bam said? Like, I don't know. He said he'll be back soon. I don't really know. Especially after a few hours, they would probably find out something is weird and they start worrying. 28 floor residential area, tent village. Okay, you moving fast. He's moving fast. Oh, he's there already. So it's in tent village in some kind of like desert. People hiding, observing. Who the heck is that person? Straddling alone. Okay. Wow, that's an interesting place. Uh, uh, Zia. Ah, Zia, Zia, she. Yes, yes. How is it red lighthouse? Okay, hello there. 
A late night guest. That's odd. Light bearer and information seller. Hmm. That's a clever thing to do. If you're a light bearer. Ah. Selling informations. People definitely need informations. E rang regular. How is it read? Like, um. Xia Xia? Xia Xia? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why is it written like that? That is my problem with English. English has such a weird transcription from like different languages, right? Because I, I can never... I have such a big problems for like... Uh, Korean, yeah, Chinese and Slavic languages. English transcription of these languages, at least from like what I've seen, maybe even more languages are so bad i can never get what the freak is like how i'm supposed to pronounce this stuff english get your shit together <laughs> i don't know how i'm supposed to read that like how xaxia xiaxia xiaxia xia i don't know i don't freaking know why are you doing this to me english because in my freaking ling language, we wrote it. How is it supposed to be pronounced? Easiest way. So why are you doing it differently? <laughs> why, English? Why? Oh, what brought you to this tent village? I'm here to find a man. Have you seen him? Hmm, this guy. Do you know him? Lady, can you please... Show your eyes, because this is sus. Of course, he showed up around here recently to get some food. The people living out here are sent here due to various issues, so they are very sensitive to newcomers. Mm, they are suspicious because they are afraid something might be happening, right? Something, Someone might be coming after them or something like that. Then do you... Then do you happen to know where this guy is at the moment? Yeah, I do, but before that... Before that... Ah, uh, lady, what are you up to? Show me the money. <laughs> Pay. Please, the money, because you can run off with the information without paying me. That probably have happened a few times. Yeah, I get it, lady. <laughs> They might have happened a few times before, so she's like, I'm not going to say the whole thing before you pay me. It's a business. <laughs> the payment is complete. <laughs> Outsiders are always rich. I'll use this money for something good. Now tell me where he is. Did you see the big hand behind this village? The big hand? Oh. People say it was a part of a huge statue that broke, leaving only the hand intact. People here call that the Hand of Arlen. Before it was used as the hideout for fugitives, but they were all kicked out and it's empty now. Well, poor people. Huh, huge statue. Interesting, it seems like it was reaching for something. Arlan, the hand of Arlan, interesting. I wonder what is the meaning of the statue. Yeah, well, Tabra is extremely old, right? So who knows how old this statue was? What it was its meaning, why it was built. Yeah, there is some like deep lore probably, but it might be forgotten already. That guy is staying there at the moment. Okay, so that's why he was on it. Are you sure? Yeah, someone told me they saw him around the hand of Arlen a few days ago. And he's not staying in any of the tents here. So that's the only logical place he'd be at. Kasana. Okay, so I mean, if people lived there previously, there is a place where to stay. So close, right? Thanks. I'll get going. 
but be careful. After the ten great families kicked people out, they left many traps and monsters around and inside the hand of Arlen, so that no one could get close. Okay, that's... Uh, that is interesting. Why would they do that? So it must be important somehow. Because why would they, like, do it, right? Why would they... Why would they put, like, so much effort doing this if it wouldn't be important? I don't like that. Yeah, it seems like there is some kind of very deep lore. Maybe it's hiding something. Because there are traps and monsters, so they don't want people to find out whatever the hag it is. Interesting. Poor people! <laughs> yeah, there must be something about at hand, or statue, or whatever it is. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. If you do want to get in, it'd be better to go as a team. Maybe we should call someone we know. Come on, bear. We should not be going here alone. Thank you for your information. I mean, it looks impressive. So, now I'm really interested about the lore of this freaking hand. <laughs> and why ten great, ten great families deliberately kicked people out of it and put traps in there. Like, so much effort. For what? Right? Or what? It's huge close up. It is. Kasana, why? Did you call me here? I don't know. I mean, it could have been on a purpose, for sure. Bear Arso, are you not? Are you not watching your surroundings? What is this? A trap? Dude! Stone dolls. Wow. That's pretty cool. Reacting to the movement, huh? So if someone comes by, it's attacking. Dude! She just said that there are traps around it. And you just walk in without watching your surrounding. <laughs> I get it, he's like lost in his thoughts. But still, man, come on. Darn it. So you're not letting me in easily. I guess not. So he's fighting these things. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this shady group. Okay, the Hand of Arlen. I don't know how it might have looked before, but it looks grotesque like that. I mean, it seems like it was reaching for something. What could have... What could have that been? Reaching to the sky. Do you really think grotesque? I find it very intriguing. It'd be better to just destroy it. Well, if you think so. But Kun, do you think he is in there? I would assume yes. I mean, at least from what we've seen. Maybe. He's completely hidden himself. He has completely hidden himself from others from the past few years. I don't think it was a mistake for him to show up in that picture. I don't think it's a coincidence he left a perfect clue like this. Probably true. true. If he was like able to be hidden for so long. Yeah. He's showing his location cl clearly if you just take a closer look. And a boring picture like this spreading so quickly in the box is also a bit suspicious. I think this is to invite someone here to the hand of Arlen. Okay, so is he deliberately inviting a bear? But how would he know about the bear? I mean... Mm, Probably he got some information because Bear is very strong. So someone might have put information out there. Of course he didn't mean to invite us. Duh. <laughs> it doesn't mean we would not go there. 
Hmm. Which means people other than us might come here as well. Run, Novik. There are traps around. Eliminate them. I'll support you. Okay. Someone is paying attention, at least. Okay, let's go, Ren. He's already on it, it seems like. Ren, don't do it yourself. He's like, ah, screw you. It's better than alone. What? <laughs> Shut up and watch me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop there, Ren. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> Guys, can you please work together on this <laughs> to get rid of the traps? <laughs> Poor Kun. Two meters ahead. Ren, don't go alone. A trap in the front column. Well, if he's getting rid of it, that is good. But be careful, man. You don't know what is waiting for you. Right, one more. Be prepared just in case. We don't have a scout. Remember that. You, the fisherman, should take the role. He's so annoyed. Shut up, I can't hear him. <laughs> it's like, you are constantly blabbering. I'm trying to understand what my boss is telling me and where the break are the goddamn traps <laughs> uh kun i think your team is very dysfunctional very <laughs> five meters ahead god dang you people did he just accidentally attacked a lighthouse yeah, it seems like he did accidentally hit a lighthouse. Well, someone is screwed. Whatever. <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> Kun must be like, why well, I'm surrounded by the idiots. Oh my god, yeah, he is annoyed. <laughs> Kun, your team is heavily dysfunctional. Maybe as a, like a boss, you should maybe try to do something about it. His face! <laughs> oh, these people. <laughs> Meanwhile, Orion is fighting uh, still these, like, uh, golems. Yeah, he is. Okay, that's a very interesting thing, for sure. I, uh, how long is he going to fight them? Like, is there a way how to destroy them? Or is like there is so much of them, or it's just like... It's hard without a light bearer. I assume it is. Maybe like there is some continuous stuff. Or it just happened in a flash. Okay. Oh. Is it them? Well, guys, you are not very um, sneaky about that. Is it them? Like, Kun's team? They're doing such a... So much ruckus. Guys. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sure Kassan already knows about you because you're not very sneaky about this. Something flying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what these guys are doing? Who's there? Yeah, it's Ran. Oh my god. <gasps> guys! Like. If I was Kun, I would probably try to go with this the most sneakiest way possible. Like, very quietly eliminating all the threats, which probably he was trying to do, but they were like... Well, <laughs> that happened. Okay. 
Don't tell me they are going to mistake him. Mistook him. Who are you? Are you the devil's right arm? I mean... They kinda didn't saw his whole face, so they would probably be thinking that. And he is affiliated. God dang it. Oh, god dang it. Ren! <laughs> Ren! Come on! This is team effort! Stop! Stop doing this on your own! <laughs> ah. Couldn't really need to work on that team dynamic, huh? He sure indeed needed. So, Ben was lying. Uh, this is not going to feel good. Because they are going to find out something is fishy about this or wrong. Like, where the heck Bear is? He's not coming back. What happened? Where is he? What's going on? Yeah, well... We'll see, I guess. Where is this going? Meanwhile, Bear was like trying to get some information. We learn a little bit about this place. And I'm very, very intrigued about what Ten Great Families has to do with that statue. There must be something. Because why would they do it otherwise, right? Why would they do it? <laughs> if there is like nothing to it, why would they care, right? So much about it. So he got the info and he was heading there. Kind of willy-nilly actually, like man, come on, here's your brain. She just said there are traps. And you're not even watching your surroundings. <laughs> no! This is going to be very hard for him. So he's fighting. Meanwhile, Kun and his party arrived at the same place nearby. And Kun had good plan how to, like, destroy all these traps, right? Easily, quickly. This kind of stuff, but... Ren and his dysfunctional relationship with the others. <laughs> he was like, I don't wanna work with Norweg, I'ma do it alone. And he kinda got annoyed. Yeah, because like when he destroyed like this, it was fast, quick, and like there is not much to it. it it's fast, quick, almost nothing. Right? But after that, he was, like, destroying the shit more loudly and obviously. He got extremely annoyed at Novik, too. And he accidentally destroyed a lighthouse. So now it's going to be kind of hard to communicate. If I was Kun, they would be giving me a headache. Like, for real. <laughs> it's like, eh, can't do anything about it anymore. Whatever. The Kun's face. <laughs> He's like these people. <sighs> guys, 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 why are you pissing me off so much? <laughs> oh my god, that's absolutely amazing. I love this. Ah, oh, the comedy in this. Yeah, and they kind of mad. Like, yeah. <laughs> This is very obvious. Jesus Christ, you should have sneaked inside, trying to destroy the traps as fast, silently as possible, not doing so much wreckage like this, Jesus. Yeah, but now Ren is going to think he is the man they are trying to find. This is definitely going to be very interesting. So next blog post. So, Horiang and Ran Matt. Actually, I was considering complicating the plot to make it unclear whether they would run into each other or not. But I just decided that it was unnecessary and just went ahead with it. Because I wanted to focus Team Wangnan on a family-like mood from the beginning, you might feel that this has a different feeling from Team seen in a typical uh, shonen manhwa. Really? I mean, that is kinda true. Usually, there is not much family-like groups or teams in shonans. 
Yeah, because that's why I do really love fairy tale, for example, because they also have very close family-like feeling. And even though, for example, One Piece has also very close family feeling, I feel like family feeling in fairy tale is more family-like. It's family. It's not like family-like, but it is family in fairy tale. Rather than gathering to fight, growing closer to each other after traveling together, on top of that, it's a team with a great variety of age and gender, yeah. The reason for Team Wang and Team seeming to be lacking is probably that although they feel like a family, they are still hiding their pasts and affiliations from each other. That is true. Compared to that, Team Kun is a little different. In a way, they are a standard team you see in Sean and Manwa. Expect that no matter in what way the two teams meet, They'll have good synergy, <laughs> I can't imagine. Now that I look at it, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Oh my. Everyone, please enjoy a Merry Christmas with your friends and family. Yeah. <laughs> I like this family feel. I love it. It's unusual, very unusual. And oh my god, when they meet, that would be interesting to watch. Yeah, I can't wait if we, like... To learn more about Wang Nan's team, for sure. Can wait for it. Because they're such interesting characters, right? I wanna know more about them. Ooh, things are getting interesting though, right? In all of this. So, so interesting. <laughs> but, like, I do really love the dynamics between Ran and Novi and, like, Kun's team. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love it. So funny. This is really surprising that, like, they are meeting this soon. I did not accept that. I did not expect that they would meet so soon. I thought it would be a workshop battle. But this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, I don't know how Horyang will come from this, what it will mean, right? Because Kun wants to fight Kasano, I guess. Yeah, but like now there is Horyang, so how that will play out. Also, what Wangnam's team, Wangnam's team will be doing after they learn after this. Like, they might go here, but, well, after things go clear, because I guess it will get clear between Kun's team and Horyang, they might go and fight Kasano, he might just run away, never meeting Horyang, or they will, sh like, closely, shortly meet and something. Wagnan's team might arrive here, after all of that happened. Yeah, I would like them to go after him. <laughs> if it is not that, like, far away, I would really like them to go after him and try to, like, come on, come back. We are friends, we are family, just don't be stupid, dumb dumb. <laughs> because I don't think, like, they will leave him. <laughs> right? They would not leave him, they would try to, like, try to take him back. I'm sure of it. That's why he was like not telling him of this. Telling them of this. They would want to go there with him. For sure. So I hope he will come back and not run away with Kasano. <laughs> Please. Please. Oh my god, Ren. You little annoying cookie. God damn you. Running off. Doing stuff on your own. Kun is not going to be very happy about this. He's not going to be happy. <laughs> At all. Jesus Christ, these characters are so much fun. Yeah. So fun. It's so enjoyable. Well, I guess that's all for now. Goodbye and see you next time.